also you would expect to have mushrooms. In Wales we have plenty of wild mushrooms. Uh, I can collect about 12 different types and I only ever collect the ones that I know. The ones used um, in Spain are orange tears, Lactarius deliciosus, but um, I think you can find them in the pine woods. Otherwise, you can use chestnut mushrooms. As usual, get some heat out of the pan, a bit of olive oil. Spain uses a lot of olive oil. Now, this is a bit of prepping up. Italian flat leaf parsley. I think only the English actually use curly leaf parsley. A couple of cloves of garlic. I should think we will need for four, 500 grams, maybe a bit less. If they were really small, I'd probably use them whole except that the more surface there is for the hot oil, um, the better the mushrooms will taste. It's a very simple recipe, it doesn't take any length of time, and only one pan, which is always a good thing. Mushrooms are full of water, so what you have to beware of is soggy mushrooms. First of all, they fry, and then they yield their water, and then they fry again. And that's the point when they'll take a little color and taste really delicious. I think that's about enough. Over to the oil. I'm watching to see when it gets a little haze. I'm going to try it out a bit. You're not sealing anything in, you're just cooking with olive oil. If you overheat olive oil, it changes the taste. But if you put something soft and wet, like mushrooms in it, the taste doesn't change, it stays quite fresh. Garlic's gone in, parsley in later. Then a few more mushrooms, because they do shrink. Right now, the mushrooms are beginning to smell really lovely and they are very noisy, which means they're giving up their water. Pass the inmate. More olive oil. You can see it's getting quite dry because the mushrooms are soaking up the oil. You can see the bottom of the pan. There's a bit of oil, but not much. I've got about four tablespoons in here, I think. I'm going to put some salt on, which makes the mushrooms juice up more quickly. This is why you don't salt meat before you fry it. I could, if I felt like it, I could throw a bit of sherry in here. If I thought the oil was getting too hot, or I wanted a little bit of extra flavour, I could do that. In fact, I probably will. Sherry is one of the best wines for cooking with because it has that sort of oaky woody flavour. And um, oaky woody is really good with mushrooms. Now, you can see that the mushrooms getting quite nice and oily. What I'm waiting for is to see them brown a little bit. As long as they have water in them, they won't brown. Sounds to reason me. Probably a bit of pepper. Quite rough. I like a rough brown. When the oil stops bubbling, all the water's gone. So I'm going to give them a little bit longer so that the edges of the mushrooms are a bit caramelised. You can see that they've given up their oil. There's much more oil visible. Okay, bit of sherry. Now, you can see there's a lot of juice, and the oil is becoming visible again and clearing. 
When it clears, there's no water in it. Fresh breadcrumbs, just enough to take up the spare juices. Parsley. A handful. Now the trick is to let the um, breadcrumbs fry down a bit, again so that they're a little bit crisp. Pretty much done. It's really good warm, you can eat it cold, but right now it's probably just about the best. And to make up our tapa meal, which is what we always do, we're going to have some manchego cheese with fig and almond paste. And then something really simple like anchovies in oil on slices of bread. You can put it out so people can make their own. You've shown them how to do it. And that's our tapa feast for the autumn.